one time on a youth trip, our students were doing a rope swing in a pond that was right outside of our rooms. This particular day, three teenage girls jumped off the rope swing and were swimming to the ladder to get out when one girl let out a big scream. Come to find out, this girl was literally bitten by an alligator. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Youth Group Chronicles. In the studio, Pastor Cole and Shaw Rax. Welcome, guys. We made it. We made it. Good you guys have been on the show before. Never together. So never this is together. a first. This is a first. We made it. We made it. Who were you with we last time? Shaw, who was it? Pastor Micah. Pa- that was, those were fun. Who were you? Buddy Jenkins. Buddy. I'm starting yeah. to get them all mixed up now. All you guys are like mix it up so That's if you are uh, if you've never listened to the show before this is where we listen to or i will read some crazy youth youth ministry stories to my guests who have never heard them and they get to blind react and these are hopefully the most crazy stories that you've ever heard that the internet can provide in the studio we also have a bunch of people so if you hear some background talking or some laughs they're in here just hanging tonight but this first story we will, we will kick it off with is from patrick patrick said one time on a youth trip Our students were doing a rope swing in a pond that was right outside of our rooms. This particular day, three teenage girls jumped off the rope swing and were swimming to the ladder to get out when one girl let out a big scream. I didn't think anything of it because she got out and went straight to her room. A few minutes later, one of the adults who was a nurse came to me and asked if I knew anything that happened to this girl. I said no, and the nurse told me that she had an open flesh wound right below her belly button. It was filleted open and we couldn't figure out what happened because it was such a bad wound. We contacted her parents to explain that their daughter got hurt. And later that evening, someone told this girl that she had blood on the back of her shirt as well. So the adult ladies investigated this and found that she had two deep puncture holes in her backside. Come to find out, this girl was literally bitten by an alligator. Yo, I thought it was like she got impaled. I'm like, how has she been impaled for like a whole day? How big was the alligator? It, well, they said the next day DNR had to come and kill it. It was nearly eight foot long. <laughs> it just chomped. Well, I mean, it got her stomach and her back. Now nah, she's blessed. Yeah, to be so living. They, what are you talking about? She didn't, almost didn't she make it. She clearly didn't taste good. <laughs> Spit her back up. out. <laughs> how old was she? Can you imagine? How, this is a youth camp. Yeah, they were on like a youth trip and she they went like, swimming. Hey, it was like what's B-O, her name? B-O and X and spit it out. <laughs> what's, her, what's, her, what's her name? What's her name? The kid's name uh, was Reagan, I think. Was the hey, kid's Reagan. Name. God bless. Sorry, Reagan. <laughs> I just said Reagan smelled and used the X to cover it up. I'm sorry. It was a gr- <laughs> if you have stories that you want to send into the show, you guys, stories at YGCpodcast.com. Someone on Instagram Live asked who we have in the house tonight. Shaw Rax on the mic. Pastor Cole. Yeah, on the mic. We have... Oh, all my brothers are here. My sister never comes to these. And for the first time ever, my wife is in the studio, yeah. Sierra. Say hey. Yeah. Hey, come on. Come on. She's never she's never listened she's to like, an episode. <laughs> this is her first. She never watched one? She watches like Instagram clips, but she's, she's never listened. She's list never listened after, to like a full okay, one. Okay. She's about to yeah. give him a list after this. <laughs> five things right, five things wrong. Let's get yeah. it. <laughs> What do we call that at youth group? It was uh, uh one thing. The one thing. The one thing is. Lit. I actually love doing that when I, I was always got three things to say every week. Yeah, you are that one do, guy. He Yo. don't give us. He don't give a one thing. He gives a speech. <laughs> like, I always mm-hmm. start off like, all, all right. right, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you know it's like, oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's why Pastor Cole always puts me last. <laughs> that's like, he'll smart. Always go around this circle. I'm always the last one to go. <laughs> he <laughs> knows. Is it every time you do that? Yes, he gives a speech. I don't <laughs> need to. every time. It just ends up happening. I'm, all like the good that. things just come I'm glad out. He right? gets yeah. excited though. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is a story from Martin. He said, "When I was a youth pastor, we used to host hardcore concerts. Now, some of our leaders and youth students would organize these events. And one time, we had six bands playing, and it was dress up theme that night." Each band would come dressed as something. Some were clowns, some were doctors and nurses, etc. However, this one band came walking in with no costumes. So we just assumed that they were party poopers and didn't want to dress up. Halfway through the night, I'm outside on security, and some of my youth leaders come running out to tell me that I have to come see this. So I walk in and look from backstage, and there's that same band wearing nothing but socks over their junk. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, nah, dude. bro, Marvin. Dang, <laughs> you, you better boot. They didn't need an outfit. They said I am the outfit. <laughs> That's literally crazy. That's literally insane. First off, the creativity from this youth pastor though to have like a hardcore. What was the it? Hardcore. Yeah, it was like band? a hardcore, like probably like metal. 
Oh metal my. night yeah i would it's like open there was mic? like bands i think he organizes these concerts and has his youth group like help with them not Dang. very youth friendly he said normally the mosh pit was close like close to the band but this time there was the biggest gap he's ever seen between <laughs> people and the stage <laughs> i bet no that's crazy the the sock over what the joint that is so plan? brave the sock over the joint is crazy yeah. that's, <laughs> that's, that's a, that does not seem secure I just have no, to say I was going like, to say what's their backup plan <laughs> <laughs> like they have strong body positivity man had a Nike sock over <laughs> got their booty cheeks this out this crazy <laughs> This is a story from Trip. Trip said, one time I was on stage at a youth retreat explaining a game where the goal was to build a pyramid of cans. Hopefully to avoid any misunderstanding of the rules, I turned to one of the students and innocently asked, you know how the pyramids work, right? What I failed to think about was the fact that this kid and his family were literally Egyptian. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> they know how the pyramids go. They know exactly. Was, all right, let me be quiet. I don't even know what to say. I feel like I'm going to get in trouble. Yeah, that's why I, I can't even say what I was going to say. <laughs> Guys, if you have stories that you would like to submit to the show, stories at ygcpodcast.com. I've had a few, uh, few people ask what happened to the old email address. It was a Gmail one, and I just didn't feel legit. So we have a real email address <laughs> didn't now. feel legit. Yeah, I didn't feel like we were real. If you sent emails there, we got them. You don't have to resend them to the new uh, account. But if you have new stories, definitely send it to our, our new email address. This is from Wesley. Wesley said, One time a kid in my youth group got kicked out of church camp because he shaved his pubic hair and butt hairs onto a counselor's pillow. Hey, yo. <laughs> Woke up with some of their teeth. Yo. <laughs> this isn't even just, this is just disrespect. <laughs> This yeah. isn't even a my, prank. Like, bro, you prank, you you put any pubes nah, on my. Nah. Bro. That's not even a <laughs> prank. Not. Dude, that's not even a prank. That's just disrespect. Have you ever like seen highest form? Have you ever seen Night School with Kevin Hart? No. Not as yeah, not as does that? No. All right, I'm not endorsing this movie for youth groups. Just so people know, like, vet it on your own. It's pro I don't remember, but I do remember there was something similar to that in that where he was at a restaurant, and that's how he got his food for free. Oh. Yeah. Nah. No way. A goldfish. Guys, we have a live studio goldfish right now. In a McDonald's This is amazing. That's Look at this. In a McDonald's I got to show you guys. Where are we going to put it? All right. In a McDonald's cup. Guys, we have... <laughs> we, have a, we have a goldfish in the studio right oh, now. That is clutch. Right Who was that? Anna? There's Thank hair you, Anna. in that the is, cup. That There's is hair. Amazing. There's like... There's hair We've in been the saying cup. we're going to do this for There's so long. Cube. What do we name it? Hey, Instagram yeah. Live. What should we name? No, we're not naming him Nemo. Come on. Nemo. I'm loving it. Someone says drink him. <laughs> Trying to create in house. This is not. <laughs> hey, facts. This isn't. Uh, Someone said poor dude's going to be dead in two days. <laughs> Trying to create a chronicle in the room. Who's going to save it when you throw it at the audience? That's a great. <laughs> Oh, you'd like a follow back? I will send you my Where Venmo. Where did you get this from? They serve you got it from the McDonald's fair? cups? No. She, she had it at the fair. I couldn't leave it in my car. It's child abuse. That's amazing. It's child abuse? Child abuse. No, have you heard what people do to goldfish? Leaving it in your car is the least of that goldfish concern. They <laughs> take them fish up in bags. That's amazing. That Dang is clutch. Man. This is a story for Ronald the goldfish. Did you put one stone in there? <laughs> Uh, I was like, that's thoughtful. <laughs> you can play with one stone. <laughs> He's like, here you go, buddy. You can hide here. <laughs> Feel home. This is a story from Kevin. Kevin said, one morning while on a youth group trip, I woke up to the screams of a middle school boy. I ran there in to go. find out that some of the boys in the middle of the night had covered him from head to toe in maple syrup. <laughs> Bro, why are these literally bro, threw these his, are just vile. <laughs> threw his hair in his sleeping bag literally everywhere. I ain't gonna lie. I used to do stuff like that. So, I mean. Nah, bro. How much maple I, syrup? Remind me never to sleep in the same building as I you, bro. I was young. <laughs> but I, I got a story because we, we talk about food and sleep. So Is it, Does it involve maple syrup? No. It involves peanut butter, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, this I don't know bad, what happened. Bro. But one day, I woke up at a sleepover, and I had <laughs> peanut butter all over me. Yo, is that the end of the story? Second, Do you know bro, who did wait it? Wait a second, that was the most anticlimactic <laughs> drug I've ever heard. Like, no buildup. I, I, I woke him. up with peanut <laughs> butter. 
I won't go with peanut butter all over my body. <laughs> Bro, I'm yeah. saying, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> See, now you trying to sound weird with it. <laughs> yeah, when was this? Was this within the past two weeks? No. I was, <laughs> yeah, hey, was yo, it more? This is getting, this is getting hey, on PG yo. on this show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lawrence's is wife, just so All people right, know. Yeah, okay. yeah. Lawrence's wife. Like, uh, it would have been okay. I, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't openly share that, brother. <laughs> this is crazy. Maple syrup, though, anyway. Gleyber Torres yeah, scores in the bottom of the seventh. Yankees extend their lead over the Rays. At a boy. Let's come on. get it. Come on. Come on. Let's get it, baby. Come on, baby. People might be listening to this like October and the season's <laughs> over. Like, what? Yankees get, ha- we get sent home early. We get handed. <laughs> We, yeah, we I don't know handled. if we're playing in October. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a story from Melinda. Melinda said, "My youth pastor had never been on one of our mission trips to Me- Mexico before, so he, unaware that there's like a two hour siesta in the middle of each day, booked a hotel for our missions team to stay at two days after the trip to help recoup. He booked it online, but unfortunately, what doesn't show up online is that there was a gay men expo at the hotel. <sighs> so each of our the doors had goodie bags on them, and all of our male counselors were literally being being hit on the entire stay. It was a long couple days for our little group of missionaries. Oh my, bro! <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm not I'm gonna, lo- I'm I don't not know what to say. This might be the worst clip. It's like video a get ever. together, I guess. Why do they call it that? I don't know. <laughs> A gay, what was it? A gay pride expo? They said a gay men expo. You know what's crazy? I was like 11 years old and I went to San Francisco for the first time. We stayed in this hotel downtown and my parents are taking us out on a walk and we go outside and a group of naked bicycle riders (laughs) in a parade, like everyone was naked, just zoom by screaming. I just remember my parents covering my eyes, and I was like, "What's going on?" I ain't gonna lie, bro. I had some like bad. Shaw's like, I was on the bike. I was. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, like funny you mentioned no. that. It's but crazy. back in the world, like back in the world, I had a, like a lot of like <laughs> bad things happen. Like so, <laughs> bro. Come mind on. you, uh, this is before I was saved, y'all. So yeah, but we was in the. We went to the bar, and we're in there. Like, and man, man, keep staring at me. So I'm just getting tight. I'm like, bro, what's good with y'all? Like, y'all want to fight or something? So um, next thing you know, we walk out the bar to go to a different bar. And there's a gay flag on the so- outside of it. Um, my stepdad brought us into this guy- club. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, it was a gay bar? stepdad he brought you to a gay bar. He didn't know. <laughs> yes. For your birthday? Yes. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know. He got know. a memory he'll never forget. He didn't know. He didn't know. But yeah, it was crazy. And my sister did that to me too. Oh, it Guys, if you twice. have your s- happened, twice. Happened, twice. Shot. happened twice, shot. How do you not learn, bro? <laughs> the first time, it. bro. No, the first time He's there was a drag a queen in the bar, and I don't know. I was just like He's chilling. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm like, what is going on in here? I don't know. Didn't man. learn from the first one. Once, sus- once accidental, twice suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> I promise. I did One, not. Twice yeah, it's not happening again. You've been accidentally anymore, ended up in gay bars too many times. Bro. <laughs> bro, it's crazy. This is crazy. Guys, if you have stories you want to send into this show, stories at ygcpodcast.com <laughs> is where you can send them in. I am distracted by Lauren's comment. I have to go back and find it on Instagram Live. What did she say? About peanut butter. It was, if you cash at me X amount of dollars, I will sneak up and whisper your name in the mic and you'll be featured on Youth Group Chronicles. How much were you asking, Lauren? <laughs> Five dollars? That is cheap, man. (laughs) Trey says he'll do it for three. This is a story from Josh. Josh said, On our way to a youth retreat, we stopped for lunch. Our youth pastor is known for losing his temper, but he was in a great mood as everyone went in to get their food. (laughs) That's kind of his attitude. Well, (laughs) Well, right before we left, our youth pastor bought himself and his wife a couple of ice cream cones for the road. And as we were walking back up the embankment to our bus, one of the annoying junior hires decided (laughs) that it was a great time to begin chucking chucking quarters at cars that were driving by on a nearby nearby (laughs) highway. Our youth pastor almost immediately told him to stop, which of course was followed by him throwing a couple more quarters. At this point, (laughs) we were right next to the bus, which was conveniently parked right next to a spotless Ford Mustang. Our youth pastor saw the kid throw his final coin and he began <laughs> running toward this kid with his ice cream cone in hand and threw the ice cream at the kid <laughs> at, 
with a very hard throw. <laughs> Luckily, his aim was off a little bit, so he missed the kid, but Smack he didn't it. miss the Mustang. <laughs> oh, the my. Smack he it. squarely hit the window of this car <laughs> and the side panel on the driver's side. And once everyone realized what happened, our youth pastor quickly loaded everyone up into the bus before the Mustang owner got back to his car and saw what happened. And we left before we cleaned it up. Yeah, I was going to say, you've never seen a church bus get packed up faster than that moment right there. (laughs) And I love how the kid, like this is from a student, I love how they they let off and like, yeah, and my youth pastor has anger issues. (laughs) So they just just throw him on an ice cream cone at his kid. This and, is crazy. And you kids know just how to make their youth pastor they mad, do. bro. They know the, oh, right buttons yeah. to, the right buttons to push. Everything. Unfortunately true. Unfortunately true. You know they was talking about Pastor Cole on there. <laughs> what, is, what is your button? What is my button? Uh, pastor Cole is our youth pastor, by the way, bro, at his when, seminar. When I don't like some of the kids' faces. When they tell, they're they telling me one thing, but their face is just, like, snarky. That just gets under my skin. But I usually keep it pretty cool. You I keep, try not to. Would you ever throw ice cream at a kid? Mm, maybe for fun, but not out of anger. <laughs> this man I don't know, Virgil, you think, I get ma- you think it's miss. easy to tell when I get mad? Yeah. What do I do when I get yeah. mad? <laughs> you have like a smile. I have like a little smile. Yeah. You have, like, like, the eyebrows go up. Yeah. And you're like. Just got his attitude, man. That man would try to calmly say, no, go. I'm trying to contain it. I'm trying to contain the anger. So, Andrew says like, the fact you. that this man was running with a cone is hilarious. <laughs> I, I, bet that, I, bet that you, I bet that youth pastor wore flip flops too. I'm literally wearing flip flops. <laughs> I've never I've never worn flip flops on the show yet. Here I am. Shorts over his knees, flip flops, uh-huh. running with an the ice long cream cone. Shorts is crazy. <laughs> and he misses. The miss is telling me a lot about who he is. Oh, the miss? I thought yeah. you said the miss is. No, the miss is telling I mean, me a lot about who he is. throwing the ice cream cone at his See, if it was Pastor Cody, he'd have hit him. Hit him so kid hard. Been kid had a black cold. eye. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he his head would have rolled back. Dented the Mustang. <laughs> anyway. This is a story from Hannah. Hannah said, while we were camping at a Christian youth festival, one of our stu- students wouldn't stop complaining about everything. So I finally addressed it and meant to say, get over yourself and go suck it up. Instead, the words that came out of my mouth were, Whoa. go suck yourself. <laughs> no, bro, you can't say that. No, bro. No, bro. That's a parent complaint immediately. Go suck yourself, bro. <laughs> that's a... That's a that's a strike on the on the. <laughs> that's a strike on the employment. Go suck yourself. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's what he meant to say, but he had to cover it up. <laughs> He's like, I He's didn't like, mean I really- to. I meant to say this, but nah, this go suck out. yourself. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely no recovering from that one. No, you cannot retire. Guys, if you have stories <laughs> you want to send in, crazy. you can email them to us. If this is jogging your memory, <laughs> stories at ygcpodcast.com. Yo, this is crazy. Go suck yourself. It's crazy. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said challenge accepted. <laughs> oh. Hey, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> challenge accepted. Someone said challenge someone accepted on the, the live. salvation prayer in the comments for whoever said that. <laughs> yeah, we need <laughs> someone just dedicated to praying on, ins- uh, praying need, on Instagram. We need, live. A pastor pastor. In our, we need a pastor in our comment section. Yeah, <laughs> 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 reply faster. Repent, reply repent, faster. Repent. <laughs> uh, actually, before I forget, guys. We have an official merch line that you guys should go check out. I'm wearing one right now. You can't see the back, unfortunately. A homeschool cool shirt. It is a homeschool cool shirt. (laughs) But everyone, everyone can wear it. What's that? Smiley face. Okay. It says it seems safer. It said it seems safer in my head. Is the back of the shirt? Yeah, actually, Trey's repping it. And then we have a Google so free hoodie. Which I think is pretty cool. Ooh, it's like embroidered. That's clean. You can get them at stories. Uh, not stories. At ygcpodcast.com. We have a website. Is there one under my chair from here? <laughs> Should I check? <laughs> Look under your chair, live studio audience. Yeah. There's nothing. <laughs> Until we sell 50 more uh, t shirts. Yeah, we'll start giving away once we sell a few. <laughs> this is a story from Taden. He said, One time when I was at youth group, we were having a bonfire. And out of nowhere, one of the kids in the youth group just stood up and started peeing in the fire in front of everyone. <laughs> he just whipped Bro, it out. He just literally peeing? whipped it out. Worst part for him is that his dad rolled up in the car right then to pick him up and caught him doing this. 
What? No, what are these stories I promise tonight, you, some man. of these kids be off these of kids, drugs. They're or comfortable <laughs> drinking or something. No, it's it's got to be a middle schooler. Bro, it's always the middle schooler. The middle middle schooler, school boy. That middle schooler was bad. He's the one that he poured that maple syrup all over what, the other yeah. kid. What's the class? That is the middle school. Bad class? No, nah, seventh and eighth grade is. <laughs> yeah, they're, right? They're, you know? Yeah, there's something yeah, yeah. hard to handle. We There's have literally separated our youth group into Mo, high man. schoolers and eliminated seventh and eighth graders because it was so bad at one point. It was real bad. Yeah. Man, took a do you guys still do that? PM. No. They're all PM together? Fire. Yes. Oh. <laughs> we're, feeling we're feeling it. When you're in seventh and eighth grade, like that age range, there's something in your brain that just doesn't work right. Like you're just still trying to figure it out. <laughs> like you got all these emotions now, but you just don't have like a Common solid sense. place to put it. So it just turns into like maple syrup all over someone's body. Pee in the fire. Yo, someone said only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> <laughs> Took a <it> personal. <laughs> Do your part. Do your part. Are these people, these people got the craziest. Like, I thought like, we were leaving. Yeah, this is the best part about uh, doing these lives <laughs> is you get to read the comments because everyone is way funnier than me. Sam is just scarred by seventh and eighth graders. Yeah, I am. I. Yeah, they just want to run up and punch you. That's all they want to do is they want to fight. That's all I really remember about that yeah. age group is they have something to prove. Fight they and do take clothes off. Fight. Yep. Um, Peeing fires. And they eat way too much. Way and they're not. And they're not. They're not super interested in girls yet, so they just piss them off. Right. They, get, they yes, got like true. cooties still. Yeah. <laughs> so they like chase them around, but like they'll just antagonize. Yeah, they'll punch them in the eye. They'll just antagonize. Them. <laughs> and crazy. that's the one they like too. The one they hurt the most. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's actually <laughs> so <laughs> true. The they, hair, like, the <laughs> they took my hat off. Oh, he, yeah, makes he like, sense. It's the hat is the one. Actually, I do remember that girls would take your hat when you are. The, if the girl takes your hat, that means they like they like you. I do remember that one. Sierra never took my hat though. <laughs> Must be a homeschool thing. I never heard that one. I you never heard that one hate. where they like run up and steal your hat? That never, never happened. It. Oh, no, no, this, man. Is old school stuff. this is getting old weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, never mind. I'm discovering. Apparently, this. it was a unique experience. All right. <laughs> Elijah gave up a very specific moment. <laughs> what do you say? Or, or they like, draw sharpies. Draw on sharpies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one loaded. They write, I love you. Laura, did you draw sharpies, sharpies on him? <laughs> Oh shoot! We up oh, caught up. Uh oh, <laughs> not with a live studio still audience. Got that. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't take your hat to Canadian. <laughs> That's funny, dude. What was it? Someone. She didn't take your hat, but she took your name. That is very true, Juju Lily. Dang. Yes, she did. And then she left the room. Yeah, now she yeah she just left left. <laughs> this is from Neil. We'll do one or two more stories here. I had some of my youth group kids try and ding dong ditch me at my house. Mm. They did it multiple times, so I literally just caught them on the second time. <laughs> As they were trying to run away, the driver of the getaway car or the getaway truck left too soon and ran over the ankle of Ooh. one of his friends and broke it. Ooh. <laughs> well, Ooh. should have been big dog ditches. Dishonor. <laughs> he said, Dishonor. I, had, <laughs> I had zero compassion in that moment and told his friends they better call their parents so they can drive their friend to the hospital. <laughs> they didn't even care. My man was in his boxers. <laughs> He's like, well. My man in his boxers. He's like, that's what you get. Call your parents. Get him out of here. <laughs> get him out my front yard. I can see a parent getting mad somehow, though. Call oh, the yeah, youth they would up, blame and like, the youth I can't believe you would let my kid ding dong ditch you. <laughs> I can't believe you he would expect on, him to get on himself your property. Home. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is there your, do be parents better, like that. This happened on your property, This is going on sir. your insurance. This happened at your house. I expect you to have better, higher character. Yo, actually, that reminds me. There was a story <laughs> yeah. where, uh, I mean, this was this was kind of the youth pastor's fault, but like season one, way early in the podcast, there was a story where the youth pastor did. It's like what's in the box. You choose which one you want. Yeah, safe game. Yeah, one had like Gatorade or something. The other had his car keys. And the kid took his car keys. and <laughs> said, Maybe it was like 200 bucks. He took the car keys and ran, just left with the car. And the youth pastor was like, I was joking. Like, I need my car back. Oh, and the I mom like threatened to sue the church. Yeah. And the church had to buy her a car. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm dead serious. No. It's crazy. The loophole is wild. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they didn't have this is why him. churches like have contracts yeah. now when you come in to do things like it's that crazy. we're gonna have to start signing that youth group bought him a whole car dang bro. we will do uh one more story here this is from riley riley said when i was on a youth uh trip there was this trend where all the guys were putting gold bond powder in their pants nice well my brother came up with the genius idea to tell everyone that the cream was actually way better to put on your nuts <sighs> except what the guys didn't know was that he replaced it 
uh, replace the gold bond cream with icy hot. Nuts of fire, bro. <laughs> of fire. He said utter chaos ensued. And at one point, I walked into the bathroom and saw a guy literally straddling the toilet, <laughs> scooping <laughs> toilet water onto his balls. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is crazy. This man got dookie water on his nuts. <laughs> Dang, the dookie bro. water on the he nuts got, is he got wild. Double killed, bro. <laughs> man got dookie water and he got some icy hot. Got a hot. coli on his nuts. Icy <laughs> hot on his nuts. <laughs> man, I woke up with a. <laughs> nah, bro, I don't know. <laughs> Chestnuts pimples. roasting on an open fire. Pimples? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Now that is a prank. It lasts pretty crazy. long, too. That kid lost kids that day. <laughs> Someone said, believe it or not, directly to jail. He was teaching his kids that early. That should be a shirt. Jail time. He was teaching his kids early. Hell is hot. Hell is, hell is hot. <laughs> Don't go to hell. He turned that into a He's sermon real quick. Bro, why do these hot. kids think of putting icy... Oh, yeah, they didn't know. It, they didn't know. Right. They didn't know. They learned. <laughs> Guys, if you have stories that you want to send into the show, the email them to stories at ygcpodcast.com. Oh, Let me see. Maybe we have time for one more. This is from Abigail. Abigail said, during youth camp, one of the older ladies who has been around camp for ages decided to teach an analogy with popcorn. Nice. She put the popcorn in the pan, and we waited for her to start popping it. While this was happening, she was talking about how they would pop, attempting to tie in the analogy to us getting angry as people. She said, these pieces of uh, corn are rubbing against each other, and they keep rubbing until it's... (laughs) And it's the same with us as people. We <laughs> rub against each other, and we keep rubbing until eventually we just pop. <laughs> now she talking about sex to some kids. Uh, I feel like my hands are tied at what I can say at this moment. <laughs> Worst part is she just kept going with her message, completely oblivious to the students who the audience who started to lose it. I would have been one of the ones in the audience losing <laughs> it. You yeah, can't right. recover. This is like an old older lady too. That's you, the funny part. Didn't even know. No Walter call. <laughs> no idea just, what she said. Yeah. No Walter call. You just hand the mic over and service. <laughs> All right, guys. We will wrap it up right low, there. Um, again, we would love your stories, so send them into the podcast. You can check us out on Instagram, on TikTok, guys. I did it officially. TikTok has no longer my name on it. It is officially YG Chronicles Come of Gmail.com. So everything hey. matches. I have handed it over. So I'll have to go start something new. I'll have to go start my own channel of something. Yeah. But uh, anyway, TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. Go check them out. We have full episodes on YouTube and uh, full video form, which is way even cooler. So we're <laughs> continually uh, adding new episodes there. So check it out. Is that your phone? Come on, bro. Real <laughs> professional. Who, who's got to call you right Real now? Real professional. Hello. Your mom. Yeah. <laughs> Put her on the live. Say hi. Tell your mom. No. <laughs> Tell her where you are. What's up, mom? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm recording a podcast right now. Say hi. Yo. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Love you. Yo, did you know that Shop <laughs> woke up with peanut butter on him once? <laughs> 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 I don't know. Ask your son because I'm. So, we're still trying to hear the end of that story. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank you for listening to this episode. We will see you all next week. Pastor Cole and Shah, thank you guys. Thank you.